and welcome to Nisi's Food Journey. And finally, after years and years of waiting, Texas's newest Costco had its grand opening. And we were there for grand opening weekend. July 16th is when we went, 2023. And this Costco is so close to our house, we are just so excited. And I decided to go ahead and film it for you. So let's take a look at Texas's newest Costco. Of course you enter. If you don't have a membership, you need to go to the membership desk. They take your picture. It's a very, very quick and easy uh, thing to do to get the membership. And then you start looking for all your bargains. Uh, the boys, of course, they wanted to go look at the electronics. My husband noted that this igloo cooler looked like it was a really good deal. We don't need a cooler, but I admit it was a very good deal. We both used to work in the printer industry and we both thought that that printer in particular was a very good deal. Not that we need a printer. Of course, TVs. One of my favorite things to shop for. I, I love shopping for TVs. We actually just got a new one about a week ago, so we don't need one from Costco right now, but these looked very, very cool. I must say, I'm a big fan of my new Samsung. The prices I thought were pretty good. I've never bought a TV from Costco before. I usually buy them from a Walmart or Amazon. And there's just more and more electronics. The electronics is in the front of the store. It's uh, very hot in that part of the store. Um, the doors are wide open, you know, letting all the hot air in. It's Texas, it's summer. So it's a little uncomfortable. Uh, once you get into the back where the food is though, it's a very, very nice temperature. And they have these walk-in coolers for the dairy and the produce. Uh, I wanted it to stay in there. <laughs> I didn't want to leave. I thought they had some uh, pretty decent deals on these. iPads were always in the market for an iPad. I think our son has had, is it five or six at this point? I lost count. He seems to burn through them every, year or two. Um, I'm glad my husband, I don't think he noticed the grill because if he did, he would have been standing over there. So I just went ahead and filmed it instead. We uh, don't need a grill, but it seemed like a pretty decent deal on the grill. I did, however, need a toilet seat and we would love a bidet, but that's a little pricey. I've seen better deals on Amazon. Did not see a liquor store. I've never been to a Costco that didn't have one, um, but this one had, you know, the beer and the wine. No great deals there. Where you're gonna find most of your deals are on the food. So I thought these melons were a very, very good price. When you consider how many you get, I think I'd pay the same amount for just one at HEB. And here's the walk-in cooler. I said it was like 40 degrees in there. It was so nice, I didn't wanna leave. I wish I could keep my house that cold. It was wonderful. Ooh, figs. I love figs. Figs are something you just don't see in grocery stores that often. So I was really happy to see them. What else? I thought that was a great price for the grapes. Grapes are very, very expensive after all. And I thought that was a really good price for the berries. And this pie was just calling out to me, a chocolate peanut butter pie, but it was four pounds. We would never ever eat that. I'll just have to make one instead, I guess. Of course, all the breads and bagels. Um, I guess overall, the deals weren't that great in the bakery, but $3.99 a pound for ground beef. That's a good deal. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna get that. And then we'll individually um, freeze little packets into one and two pound little packets and put them in the freezer. So look at this, tenderloin, now, yeah, it's $160, but that's a lot of tenderloin. Overall, I think that's probably a pretty decent deal. I've never made one. We have made this though, and I thought that was a great price for all that. That's pretty good. They had, uh, I didn't film it, um, they had some beef ribs, and those were a fantastic price, actually. Yep, yep. 
opening weekend a little crowded it was hard to kind of just stand around filming the meats so i did the best i could of course costco's famous for their five dollar rotisserie chickens that's a great price i pay seven for a two pound bird at heb this is a much much better deal and there they are i thought this was a pretty good price for all that shrimp cocktail I'm kind of picky about my shrimp. I don't know how it tastes, but the price isn't too, too bad. Now this right here, okay. <laughs> this, my grocery store doesn't even carry Pecorino. $20 for all that Pecorino, that would last me probably six or seven months. And this I did end up buying. Parmigiano Reggiano, $16 for that huge thing. I usually pay about 11 or 12 for something a fraction of the size. So that was a fantastic deal on that cheese. I don't buy a whole, whole lot of sausages, but my husband said that was a pretty good deal on those sausages right there. They have all your brats. Look at this giant English cheddar. That looked so good. It was a pretty good price too. Nine dollars a pound, that's, that's let me tell you, that, that's pretty good. Again, I think they're cheeses. You, you can't beat the price, you just really can't. And my favorite of all, manchego, but it would take me a year to eat that much manchego. Uh, let's see, they had some Kerrygold cheese, and they have goat cheese, which I'm gonna get to here in a second. Huge bargain on this goat cheese. I paid $5 for one that's a quarter of the size. I also didn't film it. I thought I did, but I didn't film the buffalo mozzarella. It was $10 for two large ones. Normally I pay 10 for one at HEB, so that was also a nice deal. Of course they have clothing, they have furniture, uh, they have toys, and they have Japanese Wagyu. Yeah, expensive, <laughs> very. What else did they have? Let's see, all the oils. I think that's a pretty good deal. I think I pay that for a small one. I pay about 14 for a small oil at HEB. That's a lot of honey for $14 also. And of course, hot honey. I actually really like hot honey. I didn't need any, so I didn't get them, but $10 for all of those chips, that's a lot of chips. And look at all this flour. We're gonna start making uh, our pizza doughs and basically uh, in bulk, we're gonna make about 20 at a time and we're gonna need about that much flour. That's a good price for Worcestershire. Worcestershire is quite pricey. And we had to get the Kewpie. That is a giant Kewpie. For that price, fantastic. Some really nice, pretty flowers. My husband had to get these Mexican street corn flavored Cheetos. Don't know what those taste like, but the guy that checked us out seemed very, very excited when he saw those. He, he thinks they're going to taste really, really good. And that was it pretty much, getting ready to check out. Overall, I say this Costco is really nice and we're looking forward to coming back. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you can join me on my future journeys.